Now, let's think for a minute. Which side of the chart do you think the foods are easier to overeat on? The left side or the right side? The right side. We don't get a lot of broccoli bingers coming through here. <laughs> in fact, I think they died out in the like, how, you know, like the Neanderthal time. They were sitting eating their broccoli and a dinosaur got them. So, right. How hard is it to overeat on broccoli? It's impossible. Would you say? Pretty tough. How hard is it to overeat on Oreos and almonds? Right. Now, this doesn't make... Okay, is it easy to overeat on almonds? Yes. But does that make almonds fattening? No. No, no. What if you only had one or two almonds? Would that be fattening? No. But I've never known any human being to eat one or two almonds. So are you more likely to overeat on the almonds than on the broccoli? See the issue? See why this is important? So calorie density is giving you a number, and since 1980, there's just been probably 100 studies on this. 50 or so came out of Penn State, alone with Barbara Rolls. It's fascinating what you will see what happens with this info. In fact, here's one of the studies. She followed people over a few days to watch the amount of food they ate. She didn't tell them anything. She just watched them. And it turned out that regardless of what you ate, the amount of the weight of the foods you ate it's pretty similar. So the amount, the weight of the food, this is food taken grams, was pretty similar over a few days. People eat a certain amount of food each day. But depending on whether it was high in calorie density, ED means energy density or calorie density, whether it was low or high, look what happened to the caloric intake. Because we ate a similar amount of weight of food, so if we change the calorie density, what happens to the calories we take in? It changes. See how important this is? So you still get to eat all you want, but if you change the calorie density, what happens to your caloric intake? It could go up or down, depending which way you go. So let us review. <laughs> you know, I stay up all night thinking of these things. So I appreciate a laugh or two occasionally. We're going to cover a lot. Uh, I, I didn't get hugged enough as a kid. That's why I do this. Okay. We're going to cover a lot today. So I just want to review. Because I know some of you said, you know, last night that was a lot of information. So I want to make sure we get this. So let us <laughs> review. What we've learned so far is we want to avoid foods that are calorie rich and processed. <laughs> so our key point as of this moment is cut the crap. <laughs> you like that? That one took a few weeks to think of. I stay up all night thinking of these things. It's sad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.